Welcome to BlueFX.net, my name is Szilard and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can make a logo intro inside DaVinci Resolve and I'm also going to give you this logo animation template for free. Check it out. Now this looks great and I'm, I hope you also like it. Now to get the logo animation template that we're going to be working together on, all you got to do is click on the link that's in the description in this video. Okay, so now let's get to work. I'm going to start fresh with a brand new project and show you all the steps. I won't skip anything and you'll be able to follow this video even if you're brand new to Resolve. Okay, so after you've downloaded this project and you have unzipped the free project, open up the Universal folder and there you're going to find a lot of cool stuff. Select all of them, drag and drop them to your DaVinci Resolve timeline. Now, if you're brand new and your DaVinci looks like this, like this with a lot of stuff going on and all that stuff, don't worry. Just click on the Edit panel here at the bottom, click on edit. And now it starts to starting to look more like a more usual video editing app. Okay, next what you want to do is click on the background image and just drag it in. And now we have our background. And we just extend this a little bit. Awesome. Now the next step is if you already have your own logo, you can also import that. So I'm going to import my own logo by just clicking on my desktop and dragging it in old school method of importing stuff. Good. Now the next part is I want to show you the stuff that you're getting basically. This is uh, one of the animations with sound but you see it has the, this green ribbon. Uh, this one has the orange and blue ribbon and we're gonna use this blue and white one. Okay this looks pretty pretty cool and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this to my timeline okay and let's make some more space here good now let's see what's what we have here okay now as you can see this green uh, bar is the audio so you also have the sound effects included so you don't have to worry about animating to the sound i'll show you how to make this easy and simple Okay, now the next step is that I want, want to put the logo just below this uh, ribbon animation thingy. Okay, so for that you want to import your logo. Now, if you would put your logo accidentally over that initial layer, then the initial layer would be deleted. So don't do that. Instead of that, just put your logo here to the right side a little bit until you can just swoop the animation layer up. Okay, now what we want is on on top is our animation layer and under the animation layer we have our logo. Now the next part is to make our logo smaller because you see in this case my logo is super big and uh, the effect would not work well with this. So I'm going to select my logo. Now, if you do not have this panel open, just click on the Inspector panel, click on that. And on the video, on the Transform setting, you can just zoom out a little bit, a little bit, until you see that you don't see the logo. And that's about the size that we want. I'm gonna just scroll up. And if you click on Disable Video Track, it's gonna disable it so we can see the logo size. That looks good. Now let's make sure that we are starting the logo at the right time. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your logo is not starting too early. If, if the layer is here, then obviously the effect will not happen, will not look good. But what you want to do is just make sure that the, your logo layer is starting while this effect is covering the majority of the screen okay and whew. now if we take a look this is already almost done so you could use this so 
So this is already a good logo animation. It's quick, it's elegant, it's simple. Now, I want to show you how to take this to the next level because why not make it look even better? Okay, so the next step that I recommend to make this look a little bit more dynamic is to add a little, little bit of motion to your logo. Okay, so for that, what we're going to do is we're going to add a keyframe right here where the logo is still invisible, still covered. And we're going to add a keyframe around here where we want the logo to slightly get bigger. Okay, just, just this much, not more. Okay, now let's take a look how that looks. Now it, it's already looking better. Now the next step that would be really cool to add is a, a subtitle. So maybe you want to add your website here or something else. Then what you want to do is uh, you want to make sure that Wow, a lot of layers here. Okay, let, let's just push this one, this logo anime, the animation layer, I'm gonna push it one step up and let's add a text layer here. Now, to add a text layer in DaVinci Resolve, all you gotta do is go to the effects library. Let's throw this down. I click on the effects library and there you have titles. And all we need here is a basic title so if you click on titles then you can select titles and select the basic one and just add it above your logo layer now obviously we have uh, we have here a white background on a white text and that's not gonna work well so when you click on the text on the inspector panel again you're gonna be able to change the color so let's change the color let's make it blackish some kind of a dark gray so it's not such a harsh contrast uh, let's make it more i would say i would say let's let's play around with the color just a little bit oh yeah here it is yeah something like this would would be good yeah something like this and let's type in your website will be here okay now obviously we got to change the size because it's too big I really like to keep it not bigger than this logo so I click on the size and just drag it down and obviously you can change the font and if you click on this, you can move it up slightly. Okay, so now we have the look, but the next part is to make that, make that title appear just at the right times. And let me show you how, where that title should appear because we added the sound effect that's gonna go perfectly with this. Take a listen. Ding! The little bell, so when you, when we hear the bell, yeah, when we hear the bell, that's the time that our, low, our title should appear. Okay, so we're going to swoosh this to the right side. And let me show you how to quickly add um, transition inside DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so effects library, video transition, and all you got to do is use the cross dissolve and boom, we got it. Let's see how this looks. Okay, let's let's make sure that disappears just a little bit earlier. A little bit earlier. Okay, so now we have that. So now we have the title, we have the logo, we have the animation and everything looks good. We could sh just say, okay, that's it, we're done. But that, there's one more step. Let's make it, let's take it to another level. Let's make this look even better so i'm gonna go to my media pool because i've included for you a lens flare effect now let me show you how to use this lens flare thingy so what you want to do with the lens flare is you want to add the lens flare on top of the logo animation okay and you want to start the lens flare effect right at the beginning 
of the animation. That's how we set up the timing for it. Now, if you take a look now, it's, it's looking very strange because the lens flare has a black background. So how can we use it? Well, let me show you a trick. So click on the lens flare layer and go to your, uh, again, go to your inspector and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you see something called composite and click on the composite mode and select add. Bam. And now the black background disappeared and we have that really cool lens flare. So let me show you how this looks. Perfect. You see, this is how long it took to make your own logo animation. Okay. Now, as I said, we've included multiple colors for you. Let's say we want to use this color. I'm going to just drag this animation right over my uh, initial, uh, right over the old one, the other color, and it already will be synced perfectly to the, uh, to the movement. So let's see how this looks. Now, as you can see, sometimes uh, in the preview mode, it, it does jump a little bit because we have here multiple effects, but don't worry when, when you start to, when you export this as a video, it will be smooth as butter. Okay. So the next step is obviously to export this as a video and you can do that with a quick export. Just go to file and quick export and you can use H264 and export and you're done. Bam, that fast, that easy. If you want to make, if you want to take this to the next level, I've ac actually prepared for you a set of 10 logo animation templates. It's a bundle of 10 logo animation templates that has all different colors, different graphics, different styles. And I want to show you how that works. You can click on the link below this video. I'm also gonna add that link where you can see the page the video of how that works and how you can make multiple uh, logo animations and so on. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please, please click that like button and also give me some feedback. You, do you like this video? Do you want me to make more videos like this? Would you like me to change something? If you do, please let, drop me a comment. I really much appreciate your feedback. And with that said, I so much appreciate you watching this video till the end. And I'll see you next time. I wish you a great day, afternoon, night, whatever is it at your time. Okay, all the best. Bye-bye.